Today, I want to talk about a mistake I was making across my business that turned out to be a content mistake, but it was also kind of a, a mistake I was making everywhere in my business. And it, it's so easy for you to fix. So let's get going. One of the things I was doing at the beginning of my coaching business was I was speaking to the wrong audience. And I was holding this audience in my mind every time I created content. And this is what that audience looked like. I really wanted to help creative entrepreneurs, women specifically, who were maybe identifying as mompreneurs. Uh, that's kind of where I was at the time. My son was smaller and you know, I had to be a mom first and I had been a mom first in my previous business. And so I really wanted to help those mompreneurs. So everything I wrote and taught and even, even my programs, like everything I held in my mind was for that mompreneur. Now, the, now mompreneurs are out there doing badass things, but a lot of times they're super scattered and their kids come first and their business comes last, which means they're really not at a place to usually invest in their business or, um, well, I was speaking to people who weren't ready to invest in their business. I'm not going to say mompreneurs are not ready to invest in their business, but they were super, super scattered, super overwhelmed. And it got to the point where I would think like, okay, I want to do this Facebook live, but when are my mompreneurs going to be on Facebook? And I want to run a group program for them to teach them how to be solopreneurs effectively. And what would be the best time of day? Or I want to run this workshop and let's see, I can't do it at noon and I uh, I can't do it at three because they'll be picking up their kids from school. And like I was always holding them in my brain, which is what we do with our audience because we know them so well. We want to help them. We want to serve them. But frankly, what I was doing was spinning around a lot for, a, for an audience that wasn't quite ready for what I had to give. Now, I want to talk, I've talked about this before. Your audience has to know that they have a problem. They have to be problem aware. They have to be solution curious. And really the best audience for you is the one that's solution ready. The one who's kind of ready to pounce on an offer that's going to land on her ears in exactly the right way. But I wasn't doing that. I was doing a lot of convincing in my marketing I was doing a lot of heavy how-to teaching. And what that does for people is it makes them feel like she's going to be there. Uh, it's going to be there. She's already teaching me everything I need to know. I don't need to invest time. I don't need to invest energy. I don't need to invest money. I will be able to figure this out on my own, which is the whole problem that people have, right? Like they're, they're tired of figuring it out on their own and they are Googling and they have like a graveyard of freebies and courses on their computer, but they're not actually taking action. So when we spend spend too much time holding our audience on our mind and convincing them or giving them too, how, uh, too much how-to content or even too much like aspirational or inspirational content that doesn't actually get them to take action, we aren't serving them. And so I know that for you, one of the things that could be driving you crazy right now is how much time you spent on content creation that either people scroll right by or they don't take action on, um, they don't interact with, they don't engage with. And I know that it's frustrating for you. So today I just want you to think about who is the audience member that you're holding in your mind? And can you let that person go and move on to a different audience member, one who's more problem aware, solution curious, solution ready, and really wants to engage? Because content creation should not be so arduous for you. It just might be that you're talking to the people who are kind of holding you back from really making the impact in the world that you want to make. And there's nothing wrong with those people. They're just not ready for your content. So no need to judge them. No need to judge yourself. It's all about getting that sweet spot where you're talking to exactly the right audience member. And I hope that's you. I hope I am talking to you as the right audience member who's who's tired of content feeling frustrating. So if you have not yet downloaded my free um, system, I actually taught this on my workshop last week. And the people were on the workshop were like, this is so easy. I feel so much lighter already. This is awesome. And so they just plugged and played it. So I'm going to drop the link in the comments for you to um, grab the free co uh, customized content creation planner. It's three steps. It's super easy. And I even teach you how to repurpose your stuff in there. So you don't have to constantly reinvent the wheel. I hope this is helpful for you to think about who's in your audience. Who are you holding in your audiences? Who are you holding in your mind when you speak to your audience? And could you shift that a little bit to make it easier for you? I hope this is helpful. Bye. 
where is the cursor? There we go. Now bye. <laughs>